Hello my beautiful gem, welcome back to my channel. I am Kabibi with Kabibi La Vie. So in this video I am doing my very first thread up mini haul unboxing. These are the items that I bought in my last video where I showed you how I do online consignment shopping for high-end luxury clothing. If you haven't already seen that video, please go ahead and check out that video. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's totally free to you and it means a lot to me to have your support. If you're already a subscriber, then welcome back and let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so I have not opened the box yet. Okay, I actually forgot what I ordered. <laughs> So the first thing we have, and this order was actually really just focused on clothes that I would wear to the office. I will do another video uh, showing how I shop for more casual clothes on ThreadUp. It's just easier for me to shop for work outfits because of how, I guess because of how the website is set up. There's, I'm able to narrow the focus when it comes to finding casual things if I don't have something specific in mind, they just have so many options, it gets overwhelming and then I end up just not buying anything. But if I'm looking for something specific with like work clothes, it's easier to narrow it down. So let's take a look at this dress. This is a navy blue. The brand is J. Crew. Let's see that. And you know I care about the fabric. The fabric is really important to me. So I think this is wool, but let's double check. If I can find the tag, here we go. This is 82% wool and 18% silk, which is perfect. So that's the first one. So the first thing I do whenever I get anything from ThreadUp is I want to make sure the condition is what they advertised it to be. So I'm looking for any snags or rips. I've actually gotten one item from ThreadUp which was listed as excellent condition, but then I could tell someone had altered it. They had like sewn in the side and they didn't do a good job. So I sent it back and they didn't um, charge me for the return shipping to send it back. So let's see. Okay, so far so good. So I'm gonna take everything out and show you guys and then I'll do a, a quick little try on session. Do a real show and tell. The next one, ooh, okay. So this is the dress that I actually have the exact same dress, the exact same color, but I bought it in the size two. However, because my top is a bit wider than my bottom, the size two, which I'm looking at it right over there, <laughs> is a little too tight on the top for me. So they had this, the exact same dress in the size four. I think it was $10, so I figured why not? Um, this is like a beautiful, I think it's silk organza. Nope, 100% silk. So this is 100% silk. Again, just giving it a quick look to see how everything looks. It looks good. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Ooh, red. What did I buy? <laughs> I really forget what I buy sometimes. Okay, so we have this red dress, which this is also by J. Crew. I love J. Crew for work. Um, this is a size two. This looks good. Ooh, pink. So this is not a work dress. This is a, I would say a cocktail dress. So we do have a very small, you can see that. I'll have to zoom in, but there's like a very small dirt mark right there, which is fine because I tend to clean the clothes I buy from ThreadUp before I wear them anyway, so I'll be able to get that out. It doesn't look like a stain. It looks like it probably just got a little dirtied in the packing. But this is also by J. Crew, and the fabric for this is, it feels like it has some cotton in it. 70% cotton, 30% silk. 
And the last piece I got, which is also pink, but more of a, like a mauve color. This is definitely for the office. This is by The Gap. This feels linen. So this would probably not be for the office. I usually don't wear linen to the office because it wrinkles so much. This is, One hundred percent linen. So this would be like a nice church dress um, with the linen. It looks like it's in good condition. The only thing I do notice about this dress that I'm not a huge fan of is that it is unlined, at least at the bottom part. So let me flip it inside out so you can see what I'm referring to. These are some of the little things that you should be looking for. These are the detail things that you should be looking for when you're shopping for clothes so you can easily be able to spot something that's high quality. Now this dress is made by Gap and you can see that the top of the dress is lined, meaning that there's another piece of fabric, like I can separate, this is the lining, this is the outer part of the, the clothes. The, the, the dress. The bottom part is not lined. Now why that's important is for certain fabrics, especially like your wools, um, some cashmeres, it can be a little bit, not necessarily itchy or scratchy, but just a little bit abrasive on your skin. And so having something that's lining it on the inside protects your skin. Um, you guys know I'm a big believer, luxury is comfort. So if it doesn't feel comfortable, it's not really luxury. So that's something that I would look for, but I think because of the style of this dress, I'll see how it fits me when I put it on, but I think this dress is fine. I think I probably will keep this dress. But okay, let's go ahead and do a quick show and tell, and then I'll let you guys know which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to send back. For thread up, I generally keep everything. Very rarely have I sent something back. I don't do a lot of like massive big hauls with shopping uh, because I, one, pay for everything myself. And two, I don't just buy things to then try it on, take the picture, post it, and then send it back to the store. So when I buy things, I keep it, I wear it. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first up is the navy blue dress, which I absolutely love the fit, but it wouldn't zip in the back. So initially I thought, okay, maybe it's just me, but then I checked the size and it's actually a size too petite, which does not fit me. That didn't stop me for trying to make it work because it's a beautiful dress. But at the end, I had to admit defeat, so this dress has to go back. This is also a size two and you can totally see the difference with just how wide it is. So for this dress, I'll probably have it taken in just so it can taper a bit more at my waist and still be for professional, but also still be kind of sexy. Now for the pink linen dress, it has pockets, which I love pockets. Um, I'm not really sold on the color or the linen, but we'll see. Now for the light pink dress, I love this dress. This dress I'll also probably take in just a little bit, just to sort of give me a bit more curves, but this one's definitely a keeper. This dress I love. I love the color. Um, this one also has pockets, which is great. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. So overall, the only one I'm gonna be sending back is the blue one. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun with this video like I did. It, it is unusual for me to do these mini haul type videos. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you like these videos and if you want me to do more. Um, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Kisses.